Well, it's been an amazing night of action and what a way to finish Thai Fight League. We've got the two group leaders who are currently on equal points in Group A going head to head right now. Two fighters who in their previous bout here in the Isuzu Cup at the Thai Fight Arena at Thai Fight League won via knockout. So this is still in the same group as Rambo, who's now third in the group. Introducing first, Serpan Kit Malai Tong, 25 years of age from Surin Province here in Thailand. I feel like we've had a lot of fighters from Surin Province here today. Yeah, Surin Buram and uh, Nokon Rajasima. Yeah. 178 centimeters tall and has a professional record of 65 fights, 49 victories, 15 losses and one draw. And his previous match, Serpan won by knockout in the third round against The Rock. Gosai Ganwen. Or Gosai Ganwen, Wen, excuse me. And now introducing his fighter, his opponent fighting out of the black corner, he goes by the name of Nin Pet for Pai Dang. His real name is Woody Chai Wanla Pai, 28 years of age, 177 centimeters tall from Praia province in the northern, northern part of Thailand. He's had a total of 76 fights, 59 victories, 14 losses, and three draws. In his last fight, he won by KO in the second round against Big Boom Sin Chan Singh, who is not in the tournament anymore. All right, here we go. The final, the seventh and final bout of the evening here at Thai Fight League. Two stoppages, I believe, only. Unbelievable. But yeah, some of the best action we've seen. The great crowd here at Beat Active. Would be surprised if we see a stoppage here in this fight. Both of them coming off KO victories in their previous bouts. Left high kick there coming in. And a left hand from Nilpet. Yeah, so far so good for Nilpet. Good sweep though by Serpan. Oh, nice left hook there to the body from Nilpet. I've got to say, in terms of menacing looks, I think Nipet would win hands down. <laughs> <laughs> but that alone can't win you the fight, Aaron. Very true. Low kick again from Serpat. Oh! Serpat, he goes to the body with that left hook, but he gets clipped with that left hook. Good take down there by Serpat, just showing his authority against Nipet. Then heads straight back to his feet though. <laughs> Both fighters exchanging kicks. And yeah, Pet walks into that kick to the body. Nice low kick there by Sir Pet. Sir Pan, sorry. Gotta say though, not the pace we're used to seeing here in Thai Fight League, Aaron. No! Of course, it's a three round bar you expect. A fast-paced action fight from the first belt. You can see why these two are group leaders at the moment because they have beautiful technique but also have very good defense as well. Yeah, much more clever with their output. Yeah, you tend to see that though, the more experienced fighters. They don't tend to walk forward and attack from when the bell goes. Except our tie fight team, of course. Yeah, of course. Good clinch work here for both fighters. Nidpet able to take down. Sorry. Silpan. Silpan is able to take down Nidpet. And not for the first time. Seems to be struggling with those, those takedowns, Nidpet. Ooh, swinging a miss there. Right kick to the body from Nidpet. Straight down the middle by Silpan. Nidpet, though, trying to get into a dominant clinch position, but the referee separates them before he can do so. Good kick there by Nipet and now takes, gets taken down once again Nipet. I mean that must be the third or fourth time Aaron. Turns in left and right hands there, but pretty much blocked to be honest. End of round number one. Zuzu Cup action on our final bout stage. Active Indoor Sport Entertainment Krop Vong Joy, Thibai Tech, Did Rot Fai Fa Bang Na.
barely even fight so far. We're well, finding about tonight here at High Fight League. I guess the only difference we can say is the takedowns. Yeah, Serpan with those takedowns of Ninpet might be the difference maker with the eyes of the judges. We see some good combinations coming in from Ninpet. I mean, some hard and solid hands, but then the takedown, you know, just neutralizes any attack that Ninpet has. So maybe perhaps a slight edge to Serpan. I would go with, I would agree with you on that. And, uh, yeah, I think that he did enough to take the round, I really do. But it's close. All right, here we go, round two. Ninpet walking forward once again. Much more of an urgency though from Ninpet. Swinging right hand and then a knee to the body there. Beautiful knee down the middle though by Ninpet. Really bent Silpan over. Oh, nice left hand. That got, that got through the guard. And a left and a right that time. This is much better from Ninpet. Oh. Again with those hands. That kicks to the body of Serpan. I'm sure he connects it full. And Ninpet really taking the oh. fight to Serpan. Serpan perhaps struggling to deal with the pace yes. that Ninpet has really, to offer. I think that's really right. Oh, which, well, once again, beautiful jab there from Ninpet. And Ninpet gets the knee to the side. I like that jab from Ninpet. He's getting through the guard and then he's able to set up other shots with it. Lao! That is not a foul though. I mean, if you kick. Kick the cup. It's not considered a foul. If you need the cup, that's a foul. An entirely different story. Right kicks to the body. Outside kicks here. The big low kicks. Sir Pad was not able to block them at all. Oh, nice left hand to the body there by Nick Pet. Much better in this second round so far for him. Nice hey. sweep once again by Sir Pad. That must be the fifth or sixth time. <laughs> Oh, good right hand! Beautifully timed there from Ninpet! That seemed to have stunned Silpan just for a moment. Well done to Silpan for keeping his composure. Even when it looks like uh, Silpan is starting to block the shots, Ninpet just comes back and somehow manages to find a way through. Yeah, you gotta love the work rate from Ninpet in this round. Whatever the case may be, I think he's winning this round, Aaron. I agree. There's that left hand again I was talking about that sets up those shots to the body. Grabbing onto the ropes. Yeah, <laughs> smart <laughs> tactic. Stay on his feet, well done then. I think he's really starting to wear down to Pan right now. Big Pet is so great in the second round. Those knees to the body will help as well. It's a sign of a tired fighter, but he's not able to block any shots coming in from Big Pet right now, whether it's the low kicks, whether it's the knee down the middle, the punches or the elbows. He just has no idea. Having Collins in the clinch as well. End of round two. Much better round there from Nin Pet. Active Indoor Sports Entertainment. Crop Wong Joy. Tea by Tech. Did Road Fai Fa Bang Na. All right, let's have a look at the highlights from that second round. Much better work from Nin Pet in the flat corner. Utilizing that jab and then throwing low kicks, throwing mid range kicks and right hands as well to Serpan, who's Unable to control his opponent how he, like he did in the opening round, of course. He did a good job in the first round, but i got to say, he probably got tired in that second. Ate way too many shots and wasn't able to protect himself as he did in the first round. That still scores. <laughs> yeah, see left kicks to the body. He did take him down, what, once? Once. He tried three or four times in that second round. All right, here we go. Third and final round of the fight and of the night here at Thai Fight League. Gotta wonder if Silpan's gonna take the fight to Ninpet in this round. He really has to. Good team there by Ninpet to start things off. And a knee straight down the middle. Silpan looking like he's having a problem to deal with the clinch and knees of Ninpet. Good team there. Outside kick. Good hands coming in here by Ninpet. Seems like Serpan is happy just to walk around the ring and fight on the outside. Yeah, but sadly, he's not winning him the fight. Yeah. Good team there by Ninpet. Yeah, Serpan he looks tired and he looks frustrated now. Yeah, back on the ropes once again. Somewhere oh, he doesn't want to be. Oh, that jab again. Knocking the head back. 
Oh, good left kicked straight to the body of Serpard, who, like you said, Kevin, is not defending his position right now. He really isn't. I mean, you've got to wonder what happened to the Serpard that we saw in the first match. The man who was looking for a knockout at this moment looks like a deflated fighter. There's that left hand again. Yeah, Serpard's not fighting back right now, even when there's opportunities to do to counter strike, he's not taking them. More left kicks to the body, and the hands are down now, and he's gone down. Flurry of kicks to the body, and it's all over. That's all she wrote. Another KO victory for that man right there, Nin Pet. And now he's got six points in his group. That's right, Kevin. Three that points for a knockout victory, two points for a decision victory on Thai Fight League and in the Isuzu Cup as well. Just a flurry of kicks to a tired body. Unable to defend his position, he couldn't get his breath back. Yeah, I mean, he, was, he wasn't defending himself, he wasn't attacking back. I mean, it was only a matter of time until Nin Pet took him down and he, just, he did just that. Digging those toes in to the body. Congratulations, Nin Pet. We'll see you next time here at Thai Fight League. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Another great event here, Kevin. Yeah, fantastic event. I'm looking forward to see the next one. See you then. The winner by technical knockout, Black Corner, Ninpet from Perth.